Hi, I'm Mark Ruffalo, and this is how I became Rob Balot. Becoming Rob Balot was appealing to me because, because he was an atypical hero. He's a guy who is part of a corporate defense company that decides to take on a case for a, a, a farmer that he knew while he, while he was growing up against DuPont, the biggest chemical company in the world. And he ends up uncovering the biggest contamination and poisoning of the world from this one little case. DuPont is knowingly poisoning 70,000 local residents for the last 40 years. My first impression of Rob Balot was somebody that was very um, modest, soft-spoken, thoughtful, and very gentle something very sweet in him. Even though he was, you know, taking on this, this corporate giant, which made it a really interesting kind of character um, and, and not what you would think of as somebody who tackles something as enormous as he does in this, in this film. I spent days with uh, Rob Balot. One of our first meetings, uh, I was meeting him at the Taft Building in Cincinnati. We were meeting at a, a particular time, and, and I showed up a little bit early, and I got to observe him for maybe 10 minutes uh, without him knowing uh, that I was there. And I watched him. I actually followed him. He was walking around, and I, I was just regarding the way he walked and the way he moved. And, you know, he was on set with me all the time. I would call him. Uh, all hours of the night to uh, ask him things about like, you know, what kind of snacks did you eat during this? Uh, what did you put in your coffee? To why? Why would you continue on something so difficult and lonely and alienating for so long? But there was a lot of questions that I had about motivation because this guy, what he did was so antithetical to what most of us think it is to be successful in America. Here he was in this giant, important law firm that defended the biggest companies in the world, and he was working on behalf of a cow farmer in, in West Virginia who had a 12th grade education. And he completely left the American ideal of success to go down this other, more just, and I'd say, although he's not openly spiritual or talks about spirit was a spiritual path for righteousness. And uh, I wanted to know why. What, you know, what compels somebody to do that? And um, I don't know that I ever really got to the, to the bottom of that question, uh, other than there's just something that he, his, he had a greater belief in justice than he did in, in things, in material. These companies, they have all the money, all the time, and they'll use it, trust me. I know, I was one of them. You're still one of them. There's a scene that was particularly hard for me and, and challenging was the scene when Rob is, um, has the kind of the breakdown, his physical body just sort of breaks down underneath the pressure. And I don't understand that. I've never experienced anything like that, so. To, to, to make that work and to and to have it be believable was was something that I that I was struggling with a lot and uh, I had a hard time shooting. I probably shot that probably six times. Then there's there's a couple scenes there's like uh, there's a probably a six page monologue um, where he he basically lays out the entire history of Teflon and C8 and that. That was challenging too, to be able to tell that story and to do it in a way that has the same kind of uh, thoughtfulness that Rob has and not as an actor try to go for like the big emotional uh, speech but, but be as honest as possible to who Rob Balot was. That, that's challenging and that takes a lot of discipline and, uh, and it takes some, some bit of courage as well. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> so it was hard for me. You want to take everything that you know and turn it against an iconic American company like an informant. Isn't that right? Yes. I'm inspired by David and Goliath stories because 
we all sort of relate to them. We all understand those dynamics so well, and we oddly identify with the, with the David. We understand that we're living under an oppressive kind of system at times, and we always want the little guy to be able to beat this, this monster, this giant. And um, I just think it's great storytelling, and it's a storytelling that we really, we really understand somewhere deep inside of us in a really simple way. The system is rigged. They want us to think it'll protect us. We protect us. We do.